Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with a ROM and a flash review for the Galaxy S2 i9100. Alright, I'm back and this is Sensation 1.8 for the Galaxy S2. This is the European i9100 and right off the bat you can see a pretty cool lock screen wallpaper and this ROM has a lot of customization that you can do uh, yourself to make this ROM your very own. Now to start off we've got TouchWiz 4.5 in this ROM. It's based on KG6 firmware and it does run the KG, uh, sorry, KH3 modem. So we'll go to the about phone, check it out for a sec here. We've got our model number, Android 235K13 for the baseband, as I said, and it rocks the hardcore speed mod kernel uh, build K29, and that's Sensation ROM 1.8. Now this ROM also runs its own custom theme, and it's on version, I believe, uh, 1.2 of that. Um, it's Geodeg zip aligned, it's got the extended power menu, CRT off animation, as I mentioned earlier, speed mod kernel, uh, the Samsung hubs have been removed, it's rooted uh, with the latest super user binaries, and um, a lot of the animations have been smoothed over as well, such as the way you enter uh, and leave uh, settings, menus, and things like that. It's got Android Market 3 and Sensation Help as well, which is a custom application native to this ROM uh, to allow you to submit um, errors and issues and whatnot. Um, a couple of changes from the last bit were the uh, Maxathon browser version has been updated to 232. Uh, the overscroll glow was changed from orange to blue, as you can see there, top and bottom. And uh, fixed widgets have been added. Uh, the latest TouchWiz 4.5 launcher was also updated, uh, which also has new options for centered app drawer, uh, five icon dock, and a lot more. Um, you can do actually a lot of cool stuff with uh, the uh, five icon dock at the bottom. Make it your own, really. Uh, charger and volume sounds have been changed, and um, one of the revisions was changing to the speed mod kernel itself. The camera version has been improved. Um, you'll notice if you're not used to it that this camera is going to autofocus uh, as you take the picture. As you saw there, it actually autofocused on the download mode jig. There was no touch to focus, then take the picture. I like that very much. It saves you time from shaking the camera after you focused a shot. And the music player has been updated from the Android 2.3 version to Ice Cream Sandwich. So let's take a look at that music player real quick. And there it is. I've got both versions on here. Uh, but this one, obviously, you have all your options up top. You can slide over like that. And you can take a look at your albums. I don't have anything on here except for Little Wayne's The Carter 4. Um, but yeah, there's a good look at how the um, everything works. You click an album, you can check it out. And uh, if you want to go into a song, you can see all that stuff like that. So, And obviously, it would play in the home screen as well. Um, it's not showing up there. I know it does, I just can't remember how it does it. So um, maybe read up on that and you guys can check that out in a little bit. Um, so anyways, uh, let's take a, a view at some of our, our graphical uh, animations with the theme. We've got the transparent uh, notifications with the blue accents, top and bottom. You can see the blue icons up top for Wi-Fi, network strength, battery, and whatnot. The battery has a regular base white text, and it's easy to see, 86 versus the traditional don't show you the number type thing. I enjoy seeing the number myself. It gives me a better view versus 40% 30% look a lot alike. I like to know exactly where I'm at on my battery. Um, so yeah, so anyways, uh, there's a view of the transparent notifications. If we go into our settings, everything's kind of black and white. We've got our custom icons on the left for each option there. And I haven't gotten into it yet, but I'm about to show you guys one of the cooler uh, things here. Let's take a look at some of the wallpapers for one. Uh, if we go into Wallpaper Gallery, that's for Touch uh, Launcher Pro. If we go into this one right here, we'll see a bunch of different options. A lot of these are custom uh, directly to the Sensation Realm, like that one and that one. 
and then some of them are obviously just pictures that you've seen but uh, there's a lot of cool ones in here I definitely like it when uh, ROM developers package up some cool um, wallpaper icon uh, wallpapers because a lot of times it's stuff you haven't seen before so a lot of cool stuff in there but now let's take a look at what makes this app tr uh, ROM truly unique and that's the fact that they've packaged uh, damn I have to go all the way around um, the deluxe settings options here. This will allow you to completely choose the way you want your ROM to appear. So obviously I have one of the basic settings uh, in place now which is the glass deluxe. We'll check out what I can do when I change it to AOSP deluxe. Now I've got my six icons, uh, unlock options. I can choose to standard unlock. I can choose to go straight to the camera. I can choose to go straight to messaging. And the, you know, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And I mean, you can really make these whatever you want. I like the flashlight one as well. Obviously the flashlight has been turned on. And uh, you can really do whatever you can think of uh, with that app there. And some of the options here, we've got our lock screen actions where you can choose the application you want uh, to do. You can choose the type of lock screen wallpaper you want. Um, you can choose um, the type of lock screen itself you want. You can center the clock. So, for example, I like my clock to the left. But, however, if I wanted to center that clock, I can actually have it centered directly on the screen there. And this is what really makes uh, this ROM really cool, is the fact that you can do all this stuff. You can have CRT for the power on as well. So mine just powers on right now. Uh, but if you wanted it, I think it looks sloppy, but if you turn it on, you can have the CRT power on effect. I don't like it, so I'm gonna turn it back off. Um, and, and the list goes on and on and on. I'm not obviously going to show all these to you. Some of my favorite ones here are confirm shutdown. I hate when my phone asks me, are you sure you want to shut down? After I click shut down, I'm positive. Don't worry about it, phone. Don't ask me. So now I can turn that off. Um, the phone options dialog is great too. This is the extended power menus option. You can set it up with whatever you want. As you'll notice, I have mine set up to be portable hotspot, flight mode, data network mode, screen capture, which is very cool. I can take a screenshot of exactly what I have on the screen there and that's the way Android should have been built to begin with so it's great to see that option there and if I wanted to I could have GPS satellites uh, sorry about that and uh, obviously GPS satellites is now one of my options I don't like having a scrolling power menu uh, so I got mine just how I wanted it and uh, let's take a look at how it does not ask me if I'm sure I want to power off as we're almost done with the ROM review and obviously it powered off directly there was no uh, double checking there on the part of the phone and that's what I really like so that was the deluxe settings by JK and that sensation 1.8 by crisis 21 be sure you donate to the ROM developer lots of time and effort went into this your donations are what make it worthwhile be sure to donate to that guy um, also check out our handy and dandy download mode jig available at mobiletechvideos.com quick easy way to access your download mode and on Galaxy S2 devices it erases the download information which is the custom firmware counter this will keep the uh, manufacturer guessing if you have to send the phone back in um, although with us here you should never have to send your phone back in but anyways uh, we do have custom options for JTAG we can do a lot of different things we can unbrick a lot of different phones including the Galaxy S2 two models um, so check us out there's our custom boot screen and check that out link in the description below if you want to go ahead and modify that as well so we are mobiletechvideos.com check out the site mobiletechvideos.com facebook us follow us on twitter and uh, above all subscribe here on youtube for the latest greatest videos we roll out lots of jtag promotionals and we're trying to get back into the rom reviews as well so check that out and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video hopefully as a new youtube subscriber